Welcome back to the house where we talk news, celebrities, and hot topics. I'm excited to be with you guys on this Monday afternoon. You guys, we have a really good video because we got to get into all things Real Housewives of Potomac. I want to talk about next week's episode because... You guys, Monique is returning and the girls are mad, okay? We got to talk about that. Also want to get into Dr. Wendy, sweetie. There's a bunch of people on social media calling for her firing on the show. So we're going to talk about it all. If you guys like this video, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to the YouTube channel if you haven't already. And let's get straight into the video. All right, y'all. So first things first, let's talk about Miss Monique returning to the show. The girls are mad. If you guys saw last night's episode, then you would have seen uh, next week's preview, right? And I don't really like to talk about the current episode that just aired. I kind of like to keep it moving. Okay, let's talk about what's to come because I get bored really quickly. So we see that Monique is going to be returning to the group of ladies ever since Monique beat Candace ass. Okay. And so I'm here for it. I am all the way here for it, but we got to get some background information first. So why is everybody so mad? Well, the girls are mad because Giselle and Robin don't like Monique, okay? And this was their way of trying to ice Monique out and push her out of the show. But the producers said, uh-uh-uh, not so fast. It ain't gonna happen that easily, right? And so then Wendy uh, is on that bandwagon as well. And so it's like you have half the cast that don't really want to mess with Monique at all uh, because she beat Candace ass. And not only did she beat Candace ass, but she wasn't seemingly remorseful about the situation. So you have Giselle Robin, Wendy, and Candace on one side of Team Anti-Monique. And then you have uh, Karen and Ashley and Monique on the other side, which Karen is trying to stay neutral, but I kind of feel like Karen is more so leaning towards Monique um, because it just seems that way. With that being said, when the ladies were in Portugal last night, at a lunch, Karen invited everyone to her wig launch party. Karen is going to be doing a wig line with RPG show, okay? Which, might I add, Giselle was being such a hater last night. Like, Giselle, why are you hating on a black woman getting her coins? Why are you hating on another black entrepreneur who's coming up with good business ideas, executing them, and making money? Like, I just don't understand it. Like, Giselle is so pressed and Giselle is so mad. She's such a hater and she's jealous. But I digress. With that being said, um, Karen invited all the ladies to the wig launch. And Robin said, let's cut the shit and let's get down to business. Is Monique going to be invited to your wig launch or not? And Karen straight up lied and said, no, she's not going to be invited because I don't feel as though the group is ready to be interacting with Monique at this current moment. And honestly, I feel like lying about it was the only way to reintroduce Monique back into the cast. Because if Karen didn't lie about it, then, you know, Robin, Candace, Wendy, and Giselle wouldn't have showed up. And newsflash, Monique is not fired. Y'all don't have the power to ice her out. The producers still want her to be a part of the show. And you guys are going to have to deal with it, whether you like it or not. It is what it is. And if you don't want to film with Monique, then quit the show. But we know Giselle and Robin ain't going to quit the show because they need the money. And apparently, according to All About the Tea, uh, Miss Wendy Osefo, Dr. Wendy to you, sweetie, needs the money too because I read that she's $1.5 million in debt. Okay? And so ain't none of y'all going to leave the show. So if the producers want you to film with Monique, guess what? you going to film with Monique. Now, with that also being said, I kind of feel like the producers told Karen to lie to the girls. I kind of feel like this because how else were they going to reintroduce Monique, like I said? How else were they going to get Monique to be at the same event as the other ladies? Karen just had to do what she had to do and lie about it. Now, that brings me to Dr. Wendy because we got a lot to go over when it comes to Dr. Wendy. Um, Dr. Wendy in the preview for next week told Candace, Candace, girl, like you need to open up your eyes and really look at this situation because Karen is not your friend. Uh, I guess she's saying that because Karen invited Monique to the event that Candace was going to be at. And Wendy is like, girl, like, why would you do that? Like, why would you do Candace like that? And here's the thing that everybody fails to understand. Karen is trying to be neutral in this situation. Karen doesn't want to seem like she's being more of a friend to Candace than Monique and vice versa. And so at the end of the day, I feel like they should stop trying to throw a hissy fit about Karen wanting Monique to be around the girls when Monique is her friend. Like, get over it. 
Okay, why does Monique have everybody's panties in a bunch? Why are y'all so mad? Why are y'all so pressed about the situation? Y'all acting like y'all ain't ever seen nobody ever fight ever. Okay, ain't half y'all from DC and Baltimore. Like I'm just a little bit confused at this current moment. And so they need to get over it. That's kind of how I feel. Especially if you weren't the one getting your head bashed in, I don't even understand why you have an opinion about it. Now, with that being said, going uh, forward with Miss Dr. Wendy, um, there are a lot of people on social media calling for her firing. They don't want her on the show anymore. They want Andy Cohen to give her the ax, to give her her pink slip because the fans just aren't feeling Dr. Wendy. So I was scrolling on the Neighborhood Talk on Instagram yesterday. Shout out to Kyle and everybody at the Neighborhood Talk. And they reposted this tweet that a fan of Rohat put up on Twitter. And it said, raise your hand if you think this should be Wendy's first and final season. Hashtag Rohat right and then you have a bunch of people in the comments saying yes okay they're saying that uh they're tired of wendy you know talking about all of her four degrees and her phd they're tired of uh wendy being an elitist and acting like she's better than everybody they're tired of wendy always inserting herself in everybody's business and guess what i'm sick of it too because honestly dr wendy is annoying okay dr wendy to you sweetie is so annoying and she has been getting on my nerves ever since like episode four and i actually thought i was going to be here for dr wendy because when she first got on the show i was just like yes like i'm here for this african flavor that she's going to be bringing on the show and uh you know her nigerian culture i'm glad that they have an educated black queen joining the cast but the more and more i watched her the more she irked my nerves and i was just like oh my god like somebody get this girl off the show however I do think that Dr. Wendy has contributed to a lot of entertaining moments this season. I do think that she does bring something new and fresh to the show. And I think she's kind of fun to watch. And with that being said, I kind of feel like I want Wendy to stay on the show. I honestly feel like, and I've said this before, I want everybody to stay on the show, including Monique, including Candace. I know y'all hate Candace, okay? I know a lot of y'all can't stand the Green Eyed Bandits, but everybody, you know, has a place on their show, even Robin, because I do feel like Robin has stepped it up just a little bit this season, all right? And so let me know what you guys think. Do you guys feel like Wendy should be off the show? Like, I don't know. I, like I said, she needs the job. She needs the job because she wants to quit professing if she hasn't already. She was a part-time professor. I believe she taught political science at John Hopkins University, which is a very prestigious school. Um, but the T was that she was one of the lowest paid part-time professors. Not to mention, like I said, she $1.5 million in debt. Okay. And then uh, she's coming across like, you know, she's living this luxurious lifestyle and she has this big house and she has this beautiful family, which she does have a beautiful family. But if I can recall, don't y'all remember when they went to Monique's lake house and Ashley was like, honey, uh, I have money. OK, my husband is a millionaire. And when he said my husband is a millionaire, too. If that's the case, Wendy, then why haven't y'all paid y'all student loans? Let me know if you guys feel like uh, Dr. Wendy should be fired. And then I also want to know how you guys feel about Monique returning to the group. I know we have a lot of Team Monique in the comments because every freaking time I, you know, take Candace's side on one thing, I get a bunch of comments of y'all, you know just not having it like y'all really do not like Candace and y'all are standing for Monique so it's whatever but just like how y'all can have y'all opinion I can have my opinion too and then every time I mention Kenya more team twirl just come out the woodwork coming for me and I'm just like clutching my damn diamonds like what's really going on um somebody commented and they were like what they say they was like uh you must really love Kenya more because she's always in your mouth and you know what? I do love Kenny Moore. I adore her. Um, you know, I'm obsessed with her. Yes, I am. I'm just as obsessed with Kenya as I am Portia, as I am Candy, Cynthia, Latoya, Marlo, Fallon. Who's the other girl that just left? Tanya. I'm obsessed with all of them because I talk about Housewives of Atlanta for a living. You big dummy. Like, hello, that's all this channel is about is Housewives, basically. Why would I not talk about Kenya Moore? I just don't get it. 
I just don't get it. So let me know how you guys feel about everything we talked about today. If you guys like this video, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to the YouTube channel if you haven't already. And I will see you guys a little bit later. Love you. And don't forget to create a great day. Bye.